Hello and welcome to Pocket Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to automatically generate these internal links that go to your own blog post. Are you ready? Let's get it. So what you want to do is you want to install the plugin internal link juicer. Now I already have this plugin installed, um, but that's what you just type in internal link juicer. And once you activate it and get started with it, what it does is it walks you through this walkthrough that has, it feels like a million videos, but I think it's like four videos each. And there, there's nothing wrong with that. What, it, what it's doing is it's trying to show you how to use the plugin. I'm going to save you the trouble and not go through any of that. <laughs> so the idea behind this plugin is that you, you'll over time have a lot of posts and obviously you want different keywords associated with different posts and that means you want to internal link them throughout all of your different posts. Um, we talked about internal linking in the last video. I'll make sure I'll have it linked up in the top right corner. But sometimes, you know, you might forget to link up a keyword to another post. And so this is where internal link juicer can come in handy. So I'm going to just type in SEO here. And we have this post, this WordPress SEO post. So I might think, hey, you know, it'd be great if I could get anytime I talk about SEO, this post is linked to. And so in the sidebar towards the bottom for I'll just say internal links here, what you do is you add the keywords that whenever internal link juicer sees that keyword in another post, it will automatically link to this post. So for this post, I have SEO, WordPress SEO, and SEO tips. So whenever I mention SEO in another post, what will happen is it'll automatically link to that post. And let's actually go and find an example. So we have this post on SEO copywriting, so it makes sense that there should be a link to our SEO post. If we go down here, we can see, here we go. And this is automatically generated. And thankfully you can see it doesn't go crazy. And every time it says SEO, it, it goes through and, and links it up. Um, there's different settings that you can adjust to adjust the frequency and all that kind of stuff. But it's right there and that's all we need. And we can see that it links right to our WordPress SEO. And so that is how you can get automatic internal links on your WordPress blog. Now this is not a plugin that I rely on, meaning I always try my best to manually insert the links, but there are gonna be times where, especially as this site grows and the content grows, I'm, I'm right, you're just not gonna think, oh, okay, you know, this would be a perfect opportunity to link to this one post. Um, so to keep track and do a better job of internal linking, make sure, again, you check out the video that I linked to earlier in the upper left, I'll also link to it in the description, and that will greatly help you with your internal linking strategy.